With regards to the complaints made towards banks, can we agree that those complaints are not made towards the commissioner, but towards a a procedure that exists within the banks and is reglamented elsewhere? Yes, so right now the complaint procedure it exists at the heart of the banking industry. So when you say that there are no complaints that are made according to the 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 rule on the 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 bill on or the law on official languages then we have to go through the groups that are designated to take care of that i'd like to make sure that i understand correctly with regards to c13 what i understand is that the that the official languages act is not applicable to the private industry once C13 is adopted, a new system would be implemented with regards to official languages. The commissioner of official languages would then be able to work with the private industry. What I'm talking about is the current situation. When a consumer wants to make a complaint, they do so and have to deal with the procedure that is implemented in banks. So the branch, the person that we are dealing with on a regular basis, and then you, you escalate within the hierarchy, the complaint or the dissatisfaction. So this is a procedure that is adjacent to the one that exists within the Official Languages Act. Well, it is a new procedure that would th that Bill C thirteen would be introducing a new procedure. My second question is about something you mentioned a few times when you spoke about the article on francophones being outside of Quebec. You talked about a uh, strong request. How do you, what do you think with regards to Anglophones in Quebec? So when you talk about these strong proportions in Quebec, because outside of Montreal, how do you measure that if the strong, if that is not, does not exist, that strong proportion? Well, the services are offered in both in English and French as per the request of consumers. It's not an issue. The banks are competing against one another, so they want to make sure that they are offering the best services in the consumer's language of choice. They do that in order to remain competitive and attractive to their clientele. I should specify, however, that as an association, we are not involved in the operations and the business choices of our members. However, I can say that the services are offered in both languages, in Quebec as well, since you mentioned Quebec. Thank you.